Um, I think most of the challenges are regarding um, keeping, well, of course, keeping safe uh, the world, of course, of keeping our weapons. Uh, now that we have destroyed all the stockpiles of chemical weapons, I would say the challenge is to um, is to engage state parties in be aware of not uh, getting more stockpiles or not more chemical weapons, and engaging them is it's gonna be or is um, I would say one of the biggest uh, issues and concerns. Um, because they, they have to understand what's the meaning of having chemical weapons and, and prohibiting or checking not to producing more uh, agents that, are, uh, that may be transforming a chemical weapon, how to control that. And if they are not engaged, it's, it will be very hard. And, and I, I believe uh, the Chemical Weapon Convention has a, a broad um, understanding or broad um, um, mandates. Uh, that could cover a lot of activities, but if state parties and the people don't understand uh, why is this important, uh, probably the, the convention will kind of be weak, right? And uh, thus, so to strengthen the convention, I would say, education and um, education to the state parties, to diplomats, but also to regular people, to civilians, uh, students, uh, to understand that chemicals are risky uh, are very beneficial, of course, uh, for the development of the world, for new technologies and new um, and new solutions. But also, uh, they could be very risky. And there's people that doesn't think in a good way always. It's not very good people, so mm. they might use this kind of uh, uh, elements to do harm. So if we are aware, if we educate, if we engage others, probably that will be the best way to go now to um, address new challenges. So I think um, OPCW has a major role uh, in communicating to state parties and state parties of course have one of the biggest role I would say to be open to understand and to uh, commit with the convention and to help the OPCW to do its job. Uh, because if they don't understand, probably they won't uh, help a lot the OPCW, so OPCW will be out of resources. It wouldn't, wouldn't be able to do, to, to do what is mandated for them to do. So that's one of the, the biggest issues and if now that we have um, the Chemtech Center, right, it is, I think, the belief that the Chemtech Center is the solution for a lot of things. And, but f to be the solution, uh, it, resources are needed, people is needed, but not only people uh, to be there at the Chemtech Center, but also people from other states to work together from uh, from their own countries and, and do projects maybe together. And for that, education is essential. I mean, if not, um, if state parties don't understand, if researchers don't understand what, or the importance of uh, the convention, the importance of the OPCW, this, this, this might not work, of course. And to, and to face new challenges such as AI, for example, uh, that is our new challenge, but we don't know uh, what is coming in the future, right? Now AI is a big issue, but also the more other challenges will may come. And, and, and um, if we don't work together, if we don't understand, that's why I say education is one of the major challenges. I don't think uh, uh, changing the convention is one of the way to do it nowadays, maybe in the future, or, or addressing you know, what is stated in the convention. Uh, not not now, maybe in the future, but because it's it's, it's broad, it's, it's I would say it's uh, good enough for now for nowadays, right? To to face the challenges such as AI, but um, but we don't know what it's 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 going to be in the future. So um, to be aware, to be committed, uh, we need to understand. We need education and also. Um, uh, uh, to be 
open to new ideas, to develop together, not only uh, rely on the OPCW that will do the job and we are okay. It's just, you know, a matter of, of, of community, right, of engaging. So the OBCW is, uh, of course, is essential. Also, uh, the national authorities in the state, in every state that is part of the convention, um, and 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 researchers, I will say, academia. You know, the whole civilians. Uh, we need to to understand that there are threats out there, uh, but also f from the same uh, elements, we can do a lot of benefits. And how do we? avoid uh, elements to be used in a bad way. So I would say, um, well, of course, OPCW is a major uh, element, but also state parties and, 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 you know, I mean, the whole world, uh, you know, to be in the same track, that's, that's I would say. Um, yes, <laughs> I'm a positive person, I would say. Uh, I think we've learned a lot as a society, uh, and we, of course, well, we we never end, end up, you know, the, the learning process will never end. But but I think there's more good people than bad people in the world, and probably if we if we work all together, it will be we we can do you know good things and and avoid bad things. It's always threats are always gonna be there. Bad people, the ones that are, will like to do harm to others they're always going to be there but if we work together and we understand and we commit i think if we have a deep understanding of what what it, this means probably uh i don't know i'm positive <laughs> yeah